Elizabeth Banks is an American actress, well known for her roles as Gail Abernathy McCadden in the Pitch Perfect movie series and Effie Trinket in the Hunger Games movie series. Besides her gorgeous looks and amazing on-screen presence as an actress, what do we really know about Elizabeth? It seems that these days, she has become a very busy woman making an addition to her fortune outside acting. Hi, welcome to You Wanna Watch, and in this video, we're going to talk about how rich is Elizabeth Banks. Early life. Elizabeth Banks was born on February 10, 1974, in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, to Anne and Mark Mitchell. Despite being born in Pittsfield, she spent the majority of her life on Brown Street. Elizabeth is the eldest of the Mitchell family's four children. Education. Elizabeth attended Pittsfield High School and is a member of the Massachusetts Junior Classical League. She also went to the University of Pennsylvania, where she was a member of the Delta 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 sorority and a member of the Friars Senior Society. She also graduated magna cum laude in 1996 with a major in communication and a minor in theater arts. She received her master's degree from the American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco, California, in 1998. She broke her leg while sliding into third base in Little League and was forced to miss the school play, which was her first foray into acting. Movie career. Elizabeth Banks has appeared in over 90 films and television series as an actress. Acting is her primary source of income. She has appeared in a few big budget movies. Elizabeth Banks' net worth began to rise in the late 1990s when she began filming for movies. Her breakthrough performance was in Spider-Man. Elizabeth Betty Brant, a supporting character in this superhero film, was played by the actress. Although Spider-Man was a huge commercial success, becoming the first film to gross $100 million in a single weekend. It did not significantly increase Elizabeth Banks' net worth. As a supporting actress, she was paid a pittance. Following that, she appeared in a number of memorable films. She appeared in Spielberg's Catch Me If You Can, which earned slightly more than $30 million in 3,225 theaters during its opening weekend and went on to gross a total of $352.1 million worldwide. She also played Laura Bush, one of the central characters in W, a biographical drama film loosely based on George W. Bush's life and presidency. Although the film was not a commercial success, it cost $25.1 million and grossed $25,534,493 in North America plus $3,401,242 internationally and received mixed reviews. It did significantly increase Elizabeth's fortune. In the science fiction film series The Hunger Games, Elizabeth Banks Banks portrayed Effie Trinket. This $495 million film series grossed $2.97 billion at the box office, making it the 21st highest grossing film franchise of all time. Elizabeth Banks earned $2 million for her role as the main character. Furthermore, Elizabeth Banks played Avery Jessup in Tina Fey's satirical sitcom 30 Rock. This series paid her $300,000 per episode. She has appeared in 15 episodes of 30 Rock as Avery Jessup since 2010. As a result, Elizabeth amassed $1.5 million from 30 Rock. Elizabeth agreed to co-write, direct, produce, and star in a 2019 remake of Charlie's Angels, starring Kristen Stewart, Naomi Scott, and Ella Balinska as the crime-fighting trio. Despite the film's underwhelming box office debut, Banks insisted she was proud of the finished product. Elizabeth also appeared as the traitorous Rita Repulsa in the 2017 reboot of Power Rangers. She returned to voice work for 2019's The Lego Movie 2, the second part after appearing in The Hapitime Murders alongside Melissa McCarthy and a slew of puppets. She also appeared prominently in Brightburn that year, as the mother of an alien child with terrible powers. Elizabeth starred as Melinda Ledbetter in the acclaimed biopic Love and Mercy, about the Beach Boys' Brian Wilson's life, in 2014, and also provided voice work for The Lego Movie. The following year, she starred in Magic Mike XXL and was nominated for another Emmy for her recurring role as Sal on the hit sitcom Modern Family. Banks also played Lindsay again in the Netflix miniseries Wet Hot American Summer, First Day of Camp and Wet Hot American Summer, 10 years later. Here's how much money Elizabeth Banks earned from her notable film's role. Spider-Man, $1 million. Catch Me If You Can, $2 million. The 40-Year-Old Virgin, $1 to $7 million. In the worldwide box office, Elizabeth Banks is credited with 29 films that have grossed $7,117,198,705. Her box office rank is number 41. Banks' contribution through acting, producing, directing, and writing is noteworthy. Game shows. Elizabeth Banks is known for her high-profile and large-budget films, but the actress has decided to change gears and enter the hosting game with Press Your Luck. 
the show has been called rigged in the past, but that term doesn't quite capture the infamous run in which ice cream man Michael Larson basically hacked the board. Michael noticed a distinct pattern in the board and was able to successfully avoid the game's whammy, earning a whopping $110,237 which is reportedly close to what Elizabeth Banks has earned for several appearances on the show. According to MV Organizing, Elizabeth has earned at least $100,000 by appearing on the CBS program since 2019. This seems like a paltry sum, especially when compared to what other game show hosts make on The Price is Right and Banks reported net worth earning through producing and directing. Elizabeth has also dabbled in producing, establishing her own production company called Brownstone Productions and launching her most successful film franchise to date, Pitch Perfect. She is the big winner as a movie producer, as Pitch Perfect grossed $116,044,347 at the box office on September 28, 2012. Pitch Perfect 2 grossed $287,215,196 on May 15, 2015, and Pitch Perfect Perfect 3 grossed $185,736,412 on December 22, 2017. The film Pitch Perfect 2 earned $69 million in its first weekend alone. Buying a home in Studio City, Elizabeth appears to be betting on her career in 2007, just five years after landing her breakthrough role, as she reportedly purchased a home. Elizabeth and her husband, Max, made the decision to purchase a home in Studio City, California. The house is 3,230 square feet in size, with four bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. The estate is an acre near Willacker Park, making the most of the available space. The couple paid $1.62 million for the 1940s mid-century estate, which includes a detached media lounge and a stunning pool house. However, after only 13 years of ownership, the couple decided to sell the property for $2.4 million in May 2020. It's not surprising that she upgrades her lifestyle with the money she makes from her movies. She recently made significant improvements to her Los Angeles home. The actress has purchased a 6,218-square-foot mansion in Sherman Oaks. She paid slightly less than $7 million for her home in 2018, which has five bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. It was reported that it took her about two years to finally close on the house because it was on and off the market several times. Wine Company. After taking a sip of the wine, Elizabeth Banks decided to buy half of Archer Roos. The Emmy-nominated actress appeared in an ad for the wine brand and decided she wanted to be a part of it, so she purchased half of the company's equity. The ease, accessibility, and value of the wine company at the moment prompted the actor and producer to purchase half of Archer Roos. The company is a wine producer based in Boston that currently produces one of the market's most premium canned wines. Endorsements and Instagram posts. Elizabeth Banks knows how to capitalize on her celebrity by signing various contracts for brand endorsement deals. She has long been a brand endorser and has appeared in television commercials for well known companies such as Old Navy, L'Oreal Paris, Realtor.com, and many others. She is also very active on social media, particularly Instagram, where she goes by the handle at Elizabeth Banks. She earns an average of $5,599.50 to $9,332 and 50 cents for each brand or sponsored post she makes, according to her 3 million followers. Donations to charities. Despite her sometimes villainous roles, Banks has a very kind heart and donates to numerous charities. She has supported and donated to various charities for various causes over the years. The Hunger Games actress is a philanthropist who is involved with a number of charitable organizations, including LA's Best, Milk Plus Bookies, Malaria No More, and Stand Up to Cancer. Car collection. Generally speaking, Elizabeth Banks dislikes automobiles. She prefers expensive clothing and spends a lot of money on it. Dior is her favorite fashion brand. Dior is an expensive fashion brand because each Dior product is handcrafted and requires hours upon hours of labor. We are nearing the end of our video, but before we proceed, we would like to ask you to please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash you wanna watch 2022 and follow us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash you wanna watch. Any support you provide us will help us provide you with more and better content. Okay, now back to the story. 
Elizabeth Banks podcast. Elizabeth Banks is more than just an actress. She enjoys informing and educating people about what is good and bad about the human body. Her podcast is a well-known tune for a large number of people all over the world. Her podcast is called My Body, My Podcast. This podcast discusses sex education as well as the human body. She also emphasizes the importance of sexual connection in transforming and completing human life personal life. Elizabeth Banks changed her last name to Banks. Her full name is Elizabeth Irene Mitchell. To avoid confusion with actress Elizabeth Mitchell, she changed her last name from Mitchell to Banks. Elizabeth Banks and Max Handelman married in 2003. They have two children. They are Felix Handelman and Magnus Mitchell Handelman. Elizabeth and her family are currently living in their Sherman Oaks property. Net worth, American actress, producer and director Elizabeth Banks amassed her $50 million net worth from her roles in movies as well as producing movie franchises. The actress most famous for her appearances in the movies such as The Hunger Games, Pitch Perfect, Definitely Maybe and Lego Movie Franchises, Zack and Miri Make a Porno. As a producer and director, she has done the Pitch Perfect franchise and the Charlie's Angels reboot in 2019. What do you think about Elizabeth Banks and her empire? Are you a big fan of hers? Did we miss anything that you think should have been included? Let us know your thoughts by writing a comment on this video. If you're interested in our other videos, just hover over the videos and just press play. Until next time watchers, thank you for watching our video.